everybody, welcome back to Paranormal Adventures. I got a strange and interesting video for you today and that I put a lot of work into and some strange failures that I've uh, never truly seen, sort of, I've actually seen before, but it's strange in the moment that I clearly and really do not understand, or which I clearly actually understood, say that better. I took a soul investigation into a very famous Helltown, Ohio, which is formerly known as Boston, Ohio. I will talk a little bit more about that as soon as we get the video started. But I do want to make one point that I do not understand before I get our video started, is that, let me, let me tell you a little bit about that and let me tell you one more thing before you get started. Let me tell you a little bit about Helltown. Helltown is a mysterious town in the Cuyahoga National uh, Park, Valley, whatever they call it, in uh, Ohio, in the, the state of Ohio in the United States. Um, you can look up, the, look up this on any web browser from anywhere in the world. Just look up Helltown, Ohio, uh, United States, and you can find it. Here's the weird thing. This is, this, is, this is what's weird. There's a lot of mixed folklore and all this going on about Helltown. Um, there's actually a uh, Travel Channels or Discovery Plus's uh, documentary of Helltown. Most of it is fake and some of it is real. If you guys have ever seen it, you guys want to go ahead and watch it, you guys can go ahead and watch it. I actually love it. It actually gives me a lot of inspiration. Um, a lot of that stuff is real and a lot of that stuff is f very, very fake. A lot of people are paid to sit there and do that. Um, Helltown is a very mysterious place. What exactly, I'll give you a quick rundown of what happened. Helltown is where the government decided to do eminent domain over this uh, Boston, Ohio, and kick all residents out, supposedly burning their houses down, holding them at gunpoint until they get out, and things like that, and they turn it into a national park. Um, no one really knows about this, but the remnants that are left behind is, is from in 2022, which is power lines that lead to the original houses, um, the slaughterhouse barn, and end of the world road and um essentially that's essentially it it's a really it's really strange um i i um decided to take on this investigation and i really wanted to go do this and i did and these are the type of cameras i brought with me i actually have both of them right now which is both of these right here these are two action cams these are, um, they're high quality non GoPro and I never really have issues, but we all have issues with corrupted video footage. This one, which is my 4k ape man action camera, every video that I took, um, before I use this as the main, uh, chest cam that I was, when I was riding my bike through Helltown that you're about to see in this footage, um, it was, it was corrupted. All of it, every video that I took of in Helltown was corrupted. Um, and non-recoverable. You know that most of it's still there. It just needs a special codec to play somehow. Uh, and I tried playing it on the camera and it gets all staticky and weird like it's corrupted. It's, it's really strange. Um, my car's dash cam. I actually now you got to check it. Yeah, the SD card's still in it. Hopefully that, uh, I believe that's okay because that'll, that'll, that'll give a good uh, point view in the Helltown as well. Um, I have my iPhone, which is that I was using as a main camera. I have backup Kodak cameras. I have backup cameras, but I never thought that Somehow, the mysterious electromagnetic energy, which is true in Helltown, which is, which is a strange part of Helltown too, and all this stuff going on, the satanic worshiping that was going on and things like that is a really strange um, electromagnetic field. I think that it tapped into my camera and corrupted the footage every time I pressed record somehow. Um, I actually, and another thing, which is almost like destiny, and which is a weird, um, I actually forgot my business computer, my business laptop to when I was going to come back to the car, I was going to check all the footage to make sure I have it. And somehow I managed to drive all the way there. And as I got there, I looked in the back seat and I realized I left it on the table, um, outside in the patio and thank God it didn't rain. Right. Um, so the foot, that footage is corrupted where I had a chest cam and but I have my iPhone video footage, which is, it looks really great of me filming most of the parts because most of this footage was going to be time-lapsed as well. Um, but I have most of the phone footage. I actually didn't even use the Kodaks. I have two uh, Kodak touch and plays that are backup cameras and things like that, or uh, it's, you know, it's how, I go, it's how I go filming. 
um, Hubsons, uh, which is my drone footage, is all all there. Um, the A-Man action camera, the main one where it was essentially filming all the time, um, it failed. I burned through a heck of a battery on it too, which is makes me more uh, irritated. But there's nothing I could do. Um, it, it's it's really strange. Um, Helltown is a strange place, and I think it tapped into that camera and just does not want me to review or reveal Helltown secrets and things like that. But my iPhone surely will. That camera on there is pretty good for me. An iPhone 8 and like oh, 2018. I, I think it's 2018, 2017. The iPhone 8 came out. Maybe you guys would know. I don't know. Um, Helltown is a mysterious place. I will always say that. Um, but I think you guys are still going to enjoy this video. And this is actually my first solo investigation with my new car. I finally got it. My my original truck that I my first ever original truck, which was um, Chevy Colorado. It actually died on me sadly. Um, yeah, the rain, the frame rotted out and there was nothing I could do and I actually found a 2012 uh, Chevy Colorado and the exact same color and everything and the first, That was its first ever adventure, which was pretty cool Even though I had camera equipment failure, which made me upset I still got to do that when still got to live it myself And that was one thing and I got to meet amazing people which is I'll explain a little bit uh, Here now actually um, the family that the family I like to meet with you guys ever watch the ever get to see this on paranormal adventures um, you guys were amazing, and um, I hope you guys made it safe, uh, made it out of there safe, when, where you guys trekked and everything, and I, I've, I hope to meet you guys again, you guys were amazing, and um, if you can comment down below, somehow we could chat more, I would love to um, talk with you guys again, you guys were absolutely amazing, and um, I just, I don't meet people like that, and it's just so awesome, so, and uh, yeah. This was an awesome trip, and we are doing more investigations. We'll just keep doing part after part after part. We're just going to sit there and investigate over and over again. Um, in the future, I, uh, when I'm older, um, I will do the night investigation. This is a really cool journey, and I've had some. There was some weird stuff that actually happened to me. I actually got a little freaked out at certain points, but um, I think you guys will enjoy this. And that, that's that's a little bit of history I could give on Helltown for you. Let's jump right down into it, shall we? Helltown, everyone. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Paranormal Adventures. I got a really good one for you today, and I think you guys are gonna, I think you guys are gonna like it. We are going back to Helltown. I don't know what episode we're on, this is my first ever solo mission. We're going to be taking a look at almost everything I possibly can take a look at today. You guys are in for a real treat, and you guys are along for the ride. Let's get going, shall we? Helltown, Ohio. When an interesting one mean father had discovered one night while just searching the web for, you know, scary places to visit in Ohio. And we discovered Helltown. We discovered the video, we discovered all that. It's pretty interesting, I will say. We're going to try to look at everything today. At least I can only hope. It'll just be me, a camera, and a bike. Drone shots too, we'll get, every, we'll get all that good stuff, of course. I'm going to try my best. Sure enough, see what happens, all right?
we're here. We're here. Surely will be interesting, will it? You guys ready? I'm ready. Let me get the bike out. Get all the gear ready to go. Took me a little bit, but I'll get it to go. And we're gonna pop right on in. Here we go. No one knows. It does do people know. Do people know what happened here? I don't think people really do. I don't think I think I think they're so tagged in their phones that they have no idea what really goes on here. And this place is all beautiful during the day, but wait till this place turns to night. And we are having a night investigation at some point as well. I don't care if it gotta be in the winter or whenever. So Alright guys. Let's do this, shall we? There's your famous row closed right there. Look at that. I took a picture here a couple years ago and I'll roll that. And here's where the house one used to be. Holy cow. Look at that. That is crazy. This is where a house used to once stand. There's the original telephone pole to give it power. This is where it used to be. I'm not gonna trek in back in there right now, but this is where the famous first house you used to be able to see. Kids played under these trees right here. It's incredible. But sadly, I gotta get out of this part. More people are coming. Here we are again. Past the famous road closed over there. We're trekking up in here. This is a crazy place. Crazy stuff happens here, man. And my, and my bike seat is the worst seat in the world. <laughs> but nonetheless, oh, you know, I'm on the road. I should have brought my road bike. Oh, that would have been smart. Oh, shoot, look at that. What the frick is that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, jeez. Yeah, that that explains it right there. That's real, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna come touch on that. It's true, it's true what really goes on here. Come up in here and you don't, you don't think nothing. These telephone poles tell a story. Something that what's happened here. This place is creepy even during the day. I'm sorry, but man, oh man, it is creepy during the day. And ain't nobody, everybody drives up in here. Ain't nobody know what's goes on. Coming up here is the Marne. I don't even know if it still stands. This is in the year 2022, so does it still stand? I don't even see it anymore. Holy, yep, she still stands. I can see it. That is awesome. I'm like I got more civilians messing around up here so I gotta take the camera away part blocked off from the world hmm. road leading to the barn these shock absorbers on this bike it's all ground and tie There's two trails here. Horse trail that they, they did. The barn trail. Might go up that one later to see if I can see an overview of the barn. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Here we are. Check this out here. <laughs> Look at this.
is one place I've never been in. Oh, this is freaky. Oh my gosh. I've never been in this part before. Power, look at that. Used to be a light bulb right there. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is so freaky. Never been in this part before. Holy cow. Oh, this is really freaky, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is that thing? Strange people here that I've never seen before. Strange ramp here. These strange ramps that are up here. There's glass all over the place. That was weird. It was really weird. These people are weird, man. What were they doing here? I'm writing my one channel name. Oh, there's that noose thing that people say is a noose. Oh, look, there's one up there, too. Yeah, that's great. Okay. We're gonna do Paranormal Adventures underneath. Man, for an adventures, I would do RC World too, but I'm gonna put YouTube. There's YouTube. You guys see this? That was me. This place is weird, though. I mean, look at all these writings on the wall. My favorite writing right there. <laughs> I know some of this stuff I really can't even show. Probably have to blur some of it out. Bike is still there. No one stole it. That's good. I'll get this one board here. This place is freaking weird. So this is what's really weird. So they got power coming in right here. Hook over there. They got power coming up in here. And I don't know. I mean, I can test for power. Maybe afraid to blow my phone up or something if I plugged in. I might have a plug to check. But this is this is everything under here. I believe a fire started to happen right there. It seems like this is the this is brand new. Does this not look new to you guys? It's brand new. And if I'm right, it's switched off. It's switched off. What are they trying to do here? I mean, I see I see old light bulbs right here. Power was here. When power equals, yeah, see, there's a bulb right there. Someone shattered the bulb bottom. Look, the socket's still in it. Bulb right over there too. This is what I don't understand. This is what I'm trying to understand. Why are we? Why do we have power coming through here? What are we doing? What are we trying to do here? Oh my goodness. Yep, there's power exiting. Let's put this thing over. Some, I think someone spray painted it, but it looks fairly new too. So I don't understand. Let me um, let me go down here and check out the barn down here. This, here's another weird part of the world up in here. Really weird. This is where power used to be here too. This I always relate power to things because it makes it more modern. and You can understand a little bit about more what's going on and what's being done here. You can see that there. Actually, I remember there used to be a switch in there. I think, and they got all ripped apart. There's a light bulb up there with electrical systems going to it, and then those two wires going right out, actually. And they are, actually, I used to see them hang on parts of the trees. I think they finally fell off or disintegrated off. I'll go look over there, but that's where power used to come in for that, too. It's really, really weird. I mean, I would do anything to have a barn like this, but this thing's getting ready to fall here soon. Here's where they're talking about the corn cobs. I used to hear about this. I mean, remember, I was here before, so, but still, that's where all that is happening. It looks like there was a little more power uh, connectors down there. Yeah, that used to be a plug for electrical. It's really, it truly is really weird. Yeah, like, look at that. That's really, really weird. Am I being watched? Probably. 
By what? I don't know. I'm in the ominous barn out there. That's freaking creepy. Let's see if we can most likely hightail it out of here. We're gonna go back up that way, go to the end of the world road if we can. Oh, I'm so tired. So that was the fork. I went down that way to the barn, which is down there. Let's come up here and I see these weird doctor's gloves. What the heck are these doing up here? What is, what is that? That's, that's weird. That's creepy. I mean, that's just creepy. I mean, what the heck? I was just coming up through there. I feel like I'm being watched, man. Someone watching me through the foothills up here, man. That's freaking freaky. And you're by yourself, man. That's freaky. I mean, this is hell town, man. Stuff happens here. I'm gonna keep going down. We're gonna try to find another world road. That's freaking freaky. I don't care who you are, but during the day, this is this creeps gives me the creeps. Let alone the night. All right. A little bit of a hike up here. I'll probably at some point here get out my other camera on the, the tripod thing, whatever, and hold it up like Survivor Man does. But for a moment, you get this view. Okay. Gotta clear some data on my phone. If I don't have to use my uh, Kodak Z10 cameras, actually got two of them. Um, if I don't have to use them, then I won't, because their quality is not all that great. Get on this side. Yeah, that dude. I don't even know if I caught it on camera, but there was this dude that was just walking by me. He seemed like he was having a great time. Man, he saw me, man. He just he seemed really weird, put his sunglasses on and everything. So he was freaking freaky, man. The people out here are weird. It's really weird. I'm not kidding. I mean, like, legitimately. It was freaking so freaking weird. Like, I was weirded out by that. I mean, I know those people I saw in the barn, like, what were they doing? I don't have no idea. But, like, the people that were in the barn. Here we are, guys. End of the world road. This is where it drops off into nothingness. Literally where it drops off. Over there. Me and my father went up there. You guys can go watch that video out on Backyard Living or Paranormal Adventures. I'm going to take a trek down here. Make sure my GoPro is recording. And it is. I'm not going to hold my camera going down here. So here we go. I'm going to see what's at the end. Never got to see what was at the end before. It's freaking crazy, you guys. Um, that's where it ends. That's just what it is. It just comes up in the grove and there's nothing mess. Can't believe I gotta walk up what I just drove. But I think Brandywine Falls is over there. We're not here. Yeah, see, there's a sign right here. We're not here for the government's fun little amenities. We're not here for that. We're here to find out the truth of what really happened. What really went on. Yeah, that's Brandywine Falls. We ain't here for that. We're here for what really happened. This place is creepy, though. That's Helltown for you. End of the world. That was crazy. Now I gotta walk up the most craziest, craziest. It's weird, because, I mean, even though it's a town, I feel like there was supposed to be so much more. You know? GoPro was overheating. Or my action cam, not really a GoPro, but he was overheating. Oh, I have a, the cold water bottle under the batteries. I don't want those batteries to get too hot. And it's got its waterproof case on. Stupid me. Didn't feel like grabbing the other one that had the air holes in it. So it's overheating a little bit because it's like 90 out here. So I'm just letting the battery cool down a little bit. I'm taking a little trek in here. And uh, hopefully there's no snakes in here. I'm not in the mood to get bit by a snake today. But I think, if I'm right, I'm just throw my socks up here. Poison ivy and all that wonderful juju. If I'm, if I'm correct, hopefully my bike will be okay there. If I'm correct, this is a spot of a house. Because I remember me and father were here. And the crazy thing was, is that you could see the, the I think electrical wires used to just run underground at this point. They didn't want to, they just put them underground and be easier or whatever. I saw electrical wires popping out of the ground, so I knew there was a house there. Like main line, like, like 240 volt wires for like dryers and stuff. It, it was so real. I just know it was. This seems to be the area because I feel like I remember a, a something like log that's down over there somewhere. Like it's kind of like anchored down in, in a triangle somewhere over there. I don't know where, but this has got to be the place. This is so weird. 
Houses were all lined up all the streets. That's what it was meant to be for. That vine right there grabbed onto me, man. It didn't want me to go, but I sure am. This is so crazy. Now this, something else trying to grab me, take me in. They wasn't doing that when I was walking in. That's weird. This is so crazy. Gorgeous day out today. <laughs> Gorgeous day out today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then there's that right there. Conservation area. Conservation area. Strange indeed. Yeah, this place is weird. Well, I can walk a little bit and talk. So GoPros, and I know it's still hot. Poor camera, still really hot. This place is weird, man. I love it though. I love Helltown. I could live here. I wish. I wish I was here in 2015 when the houses were still here. Or the White House. That White House. Yeah, I'll actually try to show you some pictures from at least Wiki. Wiki, so they're not copyrighted. But. Sorry about the shaking. Top of the end of the world road. Yeah, over there is just another strange trail. Me and my father went up that way and it kind of ended. So it was really weird. There used to be a truck up here. So there's a car entrance somewhere. So it's really weird. I'm gonna go in the shade up over here. Actually, I'm going to shade right here. And see if my GoPro's cooled down enough. And I'll try to set my GoPro back up again. Dude, man. Dude, I freaking heard something over there. I heard something right over there, man. It's like it was like, like just like, I don't know. It's like this weird crushing sound. I have no idea. Hey, everybody. Well, that is Helltown. What an awesome solo investigation. I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I met an awesome family. I got the trek with them for a little while and they were just awesome. They they were so awesome. Taught them about what Helltown is. They were kind of wondering why they saw Helltown scraped on the side of the concrete and stuff like that. And got great talk with them. And uh, hope to chat with them more on my channel. I love love to love to chat with you more. Um, hope you guys made it safe. And uh, I'm also gonna bust out of here because it's about 90 degrees. And thank God the new truck's got air in it too, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, Helltown, you guys. It is a mysterious place, and I hope to come back here with Father. If you guys get the chance to come out here, if you live in Ohio and you want to check out this place, type in Brandywine Ski Resort. And then once you're close to the ski resort, turn left and look for the Pure Golf Gas Station, and you're there. Well. You're not completely there, but if you guys watch my time-lapse footage, um, you guys see exactly how I kind of got in there. All right, you guys, wish I had more to say. The second investigation into Helltown will happen, and it surely will be either with one of my buddies or with my friend, and um, at night, maybe, maybe. And uh, yeah, all right, you guys. Paranormal Adventures is signing off for now, and we'll see you in the next one. Helltown, y'all.